change my my name is Chris or I'm king of this battle. Right now things are a little unusual around here, and that's because I left the kingdom a few weeks ago. Almost not called vacation. Not because I need it, but because my son needs it. Let me explain. You see, Trent Richard and Trent Robert, well, they're typical boys. They love to run and play and get dirty. But the problem is they're not seven and eight years old. They're fifteen and eight. Oh no. Oh God. Bobby! Oh no. Maybe they can help me feed the trees. He 
he's over here in the dragon town. Hey, Prince, you there? You see, it's about dinner time, and he's hungry. The reason he's here. The reason he's here. Shut up, Wayne. <laughs> the reason he's here is why I protect him. You see, when we found him, he was hurt. And uh, so it's not just fire protection, but we look at the claim too. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna, uh, we're, we're gonna feed him here in a minute. Yeah. Uh, Be patient, my friend. Yeah, I 
tell us there's two kingdoms in this world. God's kingdom is good, and Satan's kingdom is evil. And there's a constant battle between these. Now, we don't have to fear because God is greater, but we must take the Lord seriously and wear the armor that He's provided. Otherwise, we'll be exposed to the enemy. Why am I telling you this? Because life isn't always fun and games. And there's going to come a time that you're going to have that responsibility of protecting the king's manor. I hope you'll finally start to think about this. I'll talk to y'all boys later. See you, Wow. He was serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Journal, 6th day of August in the year of our Lord, 1451. It has now been five weeks since I first left King's Manor. Being away for so long has been more difficult than I anticipated, but I have been able to spend much time in the Scriptures. This has been a great comfort to me in my despair over the foolishness of my sons. Psalms 112.1 says, Blessed is the Lord who fears the Lord who finds great delight in his commands. His children will be mighty in the land. This is my earnest prayer.
stuff with me and sticks to you. Trip. We're 
very tired. May we please come inside? Uh, well, I'll have to ask my lord. Yes, of course. He must be cautious. We'll just wait for you to get back. Okay. What if they don't let us in, my queen? What are we going to do then? Don't worry, dear Gwendolyn. The matron of the castle may be overly cautious, but I've heard that the princes are quite naive. There's certainly no match for someone as cunning as I am. No, we won't have any trouble with them. Just watch.
Amen. Is that right, Rob? That's right, Rich. Well, I hope you're right, because she was ever getting control of this place. Well, let's just say it wouldn't be pretty. Hey, Rich, maybe we should practice our sword fighting. Took the word right out of my mouth.
teach his knights a lesson, but to his surprise, it'll be my evil knight who teach him a lesson. <laughs> what a wonderful welcome home party King Christopher's going to give. Ha, 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 ha. King's Journal, 8th day of August, in the year of our Lord, 1451. Today, for the first time since I've been away, I feel the need to return to King's Manor. Whether or not the princes have had enough time to experience the responsibility of governing the kingdom, I sense an urgency to get back to the castle. I hope that it has not been unwise to leave King's Manor without a king. But I have prayed for God's protection. I know I can trust him no matter what happens. Manor. 
so revolting. We've got to change the name of this place. And then we've got to talk money. Money, 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 because I'm going to need lots of it. Say, I wonder where they keep the king's treasure. Uh, you mean the gold? Yes, the gold. I know they have a big stash of it around here somewhere. Um, didn't the princess say that it's in the dragon chamber? The dragon's chamber. Yes, how clever. No one would dare go in the dragon's chamber if the dragon was asleep. And you were very, very quiet. Or better yet, I could just have my evil knights just to do away with the wretched beast. Speaking of my evil knights, I wonder where they are. Um, Your Grace, just let me go to the courtyard and wait for your knights while you just wait here. Very well, you may go. Out of here, the baby. 
Just peachy. How are you? Now wait just a minute, honey. That's a prince you're talking to, so I suggest you simmer down. You may be queen from who knows where, but you are not queen of this castle. <laughs> oh, you have no idea who I am. Uh, it's okay. She's not queen of yours. How could this have happened? You know, there's some strange things <sighs> going on around here. Just to be sure, we better have a look around. Good idea. Ida, you stay here while we search the castle. With little Miss Sunshine? Gee, thanks. Keep your eyes on her. If she gives you any trouble, just send for us.
cold and alert and to avoid every kind of evil? Do you promise to be careful how you live, making the most of every opportunity? And finally, do you promise to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, to put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's king? By the power vested in me, I, King Christopher, king of this good land, do deadly knights of King's Lander and all its territories. Rise, Sir Richard and Sir Robert. Thank you. 